uncommon valor was a common virtue. Those were the words of Admiral Chester Nimitz as he remarked 75 years ago to describe the United States Marine Corps' victory on the island of Iwo Jima. For 36 days, they battled for every inch of that hallowed soil against a hidden and desperate enemy from the volcanic sand beaches to the heights of Mount Suribachi, where they raised the flag of our nation for the world to see. And you've held it aloft ever since. Since your inception on this day in 1775, you have been America's force in readiness, prepared for every climb and place. From the past heroes enshrined here at the National Museum of the United States Marine Corps, to the men and women standing the watch today, the unbroken line lives on in each of you. As we transform our force to meet the demands of the 21st century, I am confident that you will continue to lead the way for our nation and for our world. Each of you who serves today must innovate and redefine what it means to be warriors from the sea tomorrow, surrounded at all times by the strength and spirit of yesterday. The technology and tactics may change, but the need for principled leadership under fire will always remain a constant. That's why on this 245th birthday of the United States Marine Corps, I am announcing that the next expeditionary sea-based vessel that will deploy Marines of the future will be named for a Marine hero of the past, a leader who truly embodied our core values of honor, courage, and commitment. To honor the remarkable Vietnam generation, ESB-6 will be named USS John Canley. Gunnery Sergeant Canley led his men through the Battle of Way City, going above and beyond the call of duty as he carried wounded Marines to safety and drove the enemy from a fortified position. His courageous actions resulted in the award of the Medal of Honor, as well as the enduring gratitude of our entire nation. Sergeant Major Canley continues to serve his community and our Marine family today, exemplifying all that has made our service strong and our nation thrive for our first 245 years. It takes a special person to assume leadership in the face of chaos. It takes character to put yourself into harm's way for your fellow warriors. It takes professionalism to remember your training and execute without rushing or faltering under fire. In short, it takes a Marine. So to all who have ever worn the uniform of the United States Marine Corps, all the families who've served alongside and all who carry the honor today, happy birthday and thank you for your service. Semper Fi.